series. I call it the Get Email Marketing Clients series. And it's a five part series on how to make $1,000 to $10,000 per month writing emails for clients. So it's gonna be a five part video series. I'm gonna show you what's gonna be in each of these videos in a second. In this first video, we're gonna talk about the freelance email copywriting model explained and why it's a great place to start. If you're just getting started in entrepreneurship or online business, why it is such a great place to start, especially right now. So what we're gonna cover in this series, five videos. Video number one is where you're at right now, the freelance copywriting model explained and why it's a great place to start. Video number two, your dream client and how to get them. Video number three, how to reach out to clients without feeling like a sleazeball. Video number four, how to close deals on the phone like a boss, even if you have zero sales experience. And video number five, three ways that you can scale to 100K plus per year in profits using email copywriting, whether that's for your own business or for clients, if you're just writing for clients, okay? So what we'll cover today in this video, video number one, First, what is freelance copywriting? You'll get really clear on what it is and what you'll be doing in this model. Uh, you'll we'll talk about how you'll make money from this, seven reasons why this is the best place to start as a beginner, five steps to making your first $5,000 as a freelance co email copywriter, and also five must-haves, things you must have for success in this business, all right? So let's first talk about what is freelance copywriting? Well. Copywriting, if you don't know, is salesmanship in print, AKA writing words that sell stuff. Products, services, programs, courses, whatever it is, you are using the written word or typed up word on a computer to sell stuff, right? Very simple. Email copywriting is copywriting focused on email as a medium. So you're writing emails that sell stuff. So freelance copywriting is you are offering this money-making skill as a hired gun to other established business owners, right? To get to, you guessed it, right? Sell their stuff, products, services, programs, whatever they sell, you are offering, you're learning the skill of copywriting and email copywriting, and you're offering it as a service to businesses. So you're saying, hey, let me write, your, write, write emails to your list to sell more of your products, services, programs, whatever they have, okay? So if you can write words that sell stuff, you have the Midas touch. You have the ability to touch any business, selling any kind of products or services, and generate them sales, generate them revenue and income in their business. Now, you can apply this skill to any business, whether it's your business or a client's business, you can apply to any business to make money, right? That's what you're learning, is a skill to make money using your words, to sell stuff. So, here's how you're actually gonna make money from this model. First, you're gonna find a business that has an email list and that sells stuff, product services, programs, courses, whatever it is, and they wanna sell more of their stuff. It's not very hard to find these businesses, okay? Uh, then you go, you ask them, hey, would you like to sell more of your stuff in exchange for a fee for your services, right? For writing their emails. They agree, you write emails to their list to sell more of their stuff. They make money and pay you more money because you made them more money by writing emails to their list to sell more of their stuff. They give you a testimonial for your great work. You use that testimonial to get more and higher paying clients and you get Conor McGregor rich. I'm just kidding, right? But jokes aside, that's how simple it is. You get paid to write emails that help businesses sell more of their stuff. It's very simple, this model. So here are seven reasons why I believe, in my opinion, this is the best place to start as a beginner. If you're new to online business, you're new to entrepreneurship, uh, seven reasons why I believe this is the best place to start as a beginner. Reason number one, zero dollars in startup costs. You are literally writing words on a text document or a Google document, right? That's it. So it costs you pretty much zero dollars to learn this skill and actually test it out and zero dollars to deliver it to clients, right? This is the actual deliverable. You're writing words on a Google doc that sells their stuff, product, services, whatever they're offering. So that's reason number one, zero dollars in startup costs. Reason number two, make money fast, right? Very. It's very important that you don't think this is make money easy. It is not make money easy, but you can make money pretty fast using this model. So you can learn the skill in a matter of weeks. You're not gonna be the best in the world at it, but you're gonna be good enough to make an impact on a business using this skill. And you can get a client within 30 days after that. And your first client could be paying you anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 per month. So within 30 to 45 days, 
you're making a, more than, you know, you could be making a few thousand dollars per month within your first 45 days of learning this, right? So you can make money pretty fast, pretty quickly using this skill. Number three, it's the number one skill that solves the number one problem. So the biggest problem, doesn't matter what business it is, the biggest problem that businesses have is getting sales, getting profitable sales. Sales is the lifeblood of any business, which is why it's so funny to me that sales has such a bad rap, right? Without sales, you can't pay your bills, business has to shut down, right? It's the lifeblood of any business. And if you don't have sales, you don't have a business. So if you have this skill of writing words that make sales, you become extremely valuable, right? That's the reason most businesses shut down is they just can't make profitable sales. So if you can go to these businesses and write words that make profitable sales for them, you are extremely valuable and in an extremely high demand. Number four, you can get good fast. So the rapid feedback loop gives you the ability to get good at this skill very quickly. And what I mean by that is you can know whether something's working or not working pretty quickly. So you can send out an email, you can look at the data, and you'll know whether it did good or bad by looking at the sales and engagement that came from that email, right? Whether people are buying and clicking to whatever you're sending them to, uh, you can see within 24 hours how that email's doing, right? You can see whether it did good or bad, whether you have to change the subject line because it's not getting opened enough or the body copy or the call to action or the offer itself. You'll know pretty fast what to improve and that's gonna make you better pretty quickly because you're gonna know uh, what's working, what's not working and what you need to change. Number five, in very high demand. Who the hell doesn't want more sales? And what business doesn't want more sales? Even charities want more donations. So again, if you have this skill, you're in very high demand because it's a skill that not many business owners and entrepreneurs have, right? They're not good at copywriting. And if you don't believe me, go to basically any business's website and just look at the copy they have on there, right? It's usually not even copy. I wouldn't even classify it as copywriting. Uh, so it's a very in-demand, high-demand skill because it's something that most businesses just can't do on their own. And it makes such a big impact on these businesses, even charities, if you are a charity copywriter, right? You're gonna be helping them get more donations. So very high demand skill. Number six, you'll crush it in any business that you touch. When you have this skill, you can make it rain in any business, whether that's your business or a client's business. When you have the skill of writing words that sell and writing emails that sell, you can bring any business from zero to you know six figures or seven figures even. And any business who's already at seven figures, you can bring them to eight figures using this skill, right? It's a very in-demand, highly impactful skill and you can crush it in any business, any industry that you touch using this. Number seven, reason number seven, evergreen and versatile. So for as long as humans buy stuff, this will be an in-demand skill. And once you get good at emails, which is what I recommend the first area and medium that you start with, you can apply to other mediums, right? Videos, sales letters, scripts, ads, uh, basically anything else. When you get good at email, you can apply to anything that you wish, right? So these are seven reasons why I believe this is the best place to start as a beginner. Take a picture, print it out, post it on your, your computer, whatever it is on your wall. Uh, yeah, this is seven reasons why I believe in my opinion it's the best place to start. So let's talk about the five steps to your first $5,000 as a freelance email copywriter. Step number one, learn the skill. You need to know how to write emails that sell in order to offer it as a service. So if you want help on this, I have something called the seven day super fast sales email challenge. Uh, over seven days, you're gonna learn how to write at a very foundational level an email that sells. So if you want this, go to superfastsalesemail.com for my training on this. It's $29. And with, again, within seven days, you're gonna, learn, you're gonna have that skill of writing emails that sell. You're gonna have the foundation for that. Number two, get clear on your dream client. So you're gonna get clear on who your dream client is so you can focus time and energy on finding only them. And we'll talk about more, more about how to do this in the next video, video number two. Uh, number three, create a productized service offering. This means that every client gets the same core service. And again, we'll talk more about this in a future video. Number four, you're gonna reach out to prospects. You're gonna find and reach out to prospects who fit your dream client profile. And you're gonna see if they're interested in what you have to offer, right? Which is email copywriting, writing emails that sell whatever stuff they have. We'll talk about this in video number three. 
And then step number five, you're gonna close them on the phone, inside sales, right? Inside sales is basically, you're not meeting them in person, you're meeting over Zoom or just a phone call. So you're gonna get on the phone with interested cats and close them. And you're gonna get them results, you're gonna get a testimonial, then you're gonna repeat this process, right? Very simple. We'll talk about this in video number four, how to get on the phone and actually turn a interested lead into a paying client. So five tools or must-haves for success, right? Must-haves, things that you must have for success in this model. Number one, you must have the skill and you must always be dedicated to getting better. The better you get, the more that you will make, right? The better and higher paying clients that you're gonna make. Number two, you must be willing, willing to reach out to potential clients. This is not something where you hide behind a screen and push a button and never say a word, right? You must be willing to reach out to potential clients in order to get clients. I hope this is obvious, but to some people it's not. So I wanna make that really clear here. Number three, you must be willing to get on the phone and close the deal. It's not as scary as you think once you know what to do you have something that they need, right? They need more sales, they need someone who can generate those sales, and you have that skill. So most people are afraid to get on the phone because they feel like they don't feel confident, they feel like they're not useful, but you have something that these business owners need. So go into it with confidence, knowing that you have the skill to really make an impact in their life and in their business. Number four, you must be willing to get rejected most of the time, especially in the beginning. But every no gets you closer to a yes. So in the beginning, when I was getting started with sales, I don't really have a sales background, but when I got started in 2016, 2017, first dipping my toes in sales, uh, I got rejected all the time, right? I, and basically what happened was I would need eight to nine no's to get one yes. So every no that I would get, someone saying, you know, you know, piss off, go pound sand, or no, I'm not interested, I would count up eight to nine of those, and once eight to nine of those would come through, I would have one person who said yes. And that's kind of the mentality you wanna take with this, right? Don't get discouraged when you're getting rejected. It's, it's part of business, right? Most of the time, you're gonna get rejected. Most people are gonna say no, but that's gonna get, every no is gonna get you closer to that yes from someone who does wanna move forward with you. Number five, you must be willing to persevere even when things get tough. Right? If this were easy as pie, everybody would do it. <laughs> I, I, I know that's kind of cliche to say that, but it's true. If it were that easy, why wouldn't everybody do it? Right? It, things do get tough, especially in the beginning, but things get easy over time. Uh, and you're gonna have to persevere through those, those rough patches in the beginning when you're learning the skill and you're testing things out. You might be getting rejected in the beginning and you're gonna need to adapt and get better over time. Right? But you must be willing to persevere even when things get tough and if this were easy, everybody would do it, but it is definitely worth it when you, can, when you can make it work. If you're not scared off by now, I believe in you, right? If you're still watching, I fully believe in you that you can do this. This free series will be dedicated to helping you land your first client and add an extra $1,000 to $10,000 to your monthly income. I'm not gonna give you a time frame because everyone's gonna be different, but that's the goal of this series. It's a free series. It's gonna be dedicated to helping you land that first client and add $1,000 to $10,000 to your monthly income, which is very doable and very attainable, right? I'm not gonna put some wild claim that you're gonna make $100,000 per month, but this is the goal here with this free series. So recap of what we covered. We talked about what freelance copywriting is, writing words that sell stuff or writing emails that sell stuff, which email copywriting. We talked about how you make money from this. You're just going out to clients and helping them sell more of their stuff through email. Seven reasons why this is the best place to start as a beginner. Five steps to making your first $5,000 as a freelance email copywriter and five must-haves for success.